Robinson tracking all of this. Uh, he's got the timeline and everything. Hey there, Kevin. Hey, good evening, Mike and Sheree. Yeah, we've had a nice lull through a good part of the afternoon. Now we've got some hit and miss downpours that have flared up here within the past hour. Now there's not a lot of action on the radar at the moment, but that will change as we go deeper into the evening tonight. So here's one of those heftier downpours over Goshen Township here. This is going to move up in the direction of Morrow, maybe Harlan and the southern parts of uh, Warren County here over the next couple of minutes. No thunder or lightning in this but brief intense rainfall for a good 5-10 minutes. Same story in the northeastern part of Hamilton County at the moment from Madeira over towards Blue Ash here. This is mostly to the east of 71, but crossing over, let's say, East Kemper Road in the next couple of minutes, also moving up in the direction of Loveland. So this is going to move right over 275 and 126. Heavy rainfall. This is moving up to, again, into the southern parts of Warren County. Watch out over around Deerfield Township, for example, up there around the Mason area. Area, this hefty downpour going to move over you in the next couple of minutes. That's it at the moment. Now, the other action I'm watching is more or less on our doorstep back across southwest Indiana tonight down in the direction of Louisville. This activity will gradually work its way up the Ohio River here. So the outlook for this evening, rain and yes, some thunder. While I'm not terribly worried about widespread severe weather, I'm not going to rule out that we couldn't possibly see a strong storm or two. Here's what's been happening so far today. A warm front's lifting across the area as we speak. In fact, temperatures are currently climbing their way through the 70s tonight. Here's that next area of low pressure tonight. You see that spin? The curl there in Arkansas over around Memphis. This is going to lift its way up through the Ohio Valley tonight, bringing ample showers and storms. So while it may not be terribly wet just yet, the overall trend for the evening, especially after about six or seven o'clock, will be for showers and storms to increase. We'll probably lose some of the thunder and lightning as we get towards midnight, and it just becomes periods of heavy rain for most of us. So here's a live look from high atop Karoo Tower outside right now. Looking down at the stadium, 71 degrees officially at the airport. Pretty muggy out there. We've got a dew point in the low 60s. Temperature wise around the area with that warm push of air out of the south this evening. Don't expect for us to fall too much, at least most of the night. Temperatures in the 70s along and south of the river, 60s to the north. So here's a look at future casts. Here's those pop up showers. Here comes the other activity down there around Louisville. You see as we approach 6 37 o'clock that stuff moves through it continues off and on as we work our way through the evening as we get towards midnight it becomes more scattered again and then I expect kind of off and on rain through your morning on Friday and then we'll probably get a break again tomorrow only to see maybe another quick hitting round of showers in the afternoon around the commute time before it gets quiet for Friday evening in your Friday night plans. So rain tonight, some storms, wet 50 by tomorrow morning. And then for tomorrow, morning rain, and then a break with some sun, and then more scattered showers in the afternoon. It will also be quite breezy tomorrow, 63 for a high. So the weather will be the most impactful in the morning, and then maybe for an hour or two in the afternoon with kind of a secondary wave of showers. Here's your seven-day forecast. All in all, Mike and Sheree, the weekend not looking too bad. We'll have some clouds around, and there may be a very brief passing shower on Saturday. Saturday, but it looks a lot drier than what we'll be experiencing the next few hours. All right, weather roulette for sure. Well, the chance to finally get inside and examine.